Hi guys, it's Tim from Launchpresso, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to find duplicate conversions in Google Ads and how to fix them. So we can see here on my screen, this is my client's account, and they've just got their Google Ads running again, and they've been having some very nice conversions already happening in the account. However, I do have my suspicions on how well this account has been running. As we can see here, we've had 41 conversions in the last 30-day period, but the cost per conversion is extremely low, $2.38. That could be the case, but in my experience, it's very rare to find a cost per conversion at $2.38 for e-commerce stores particularly this Shopify store and another way to check if your conversions are out of whack is we can look at the conversion value over cost or otherwise known as ROAS and we can see here that it's 51.46 which is like 5,000%. Very, very hot. So first, how do we identify that we've got duplicate conversions in a Google Ads account? So if we come over to the goals area here and click this and come over to summary, then under the purchases area, I take a look at the conversion actions and the action optimizations. And we can see here, we do have the Google Shopping app currently running, which is primary and also the Shopify sale, which is a primary. We only have 19 conversions and zero conversions under this one, even though it's a primary conversion and the secondary conversions, which are coming through GA4, which has been imported in, which are not being recorded as the account default goal within the purchase conversion actions. So that makes me think what other conversion actions have been set at the account default goal, which could be giving us the false impression that we're doing really well in the account. And as we scroll down here under add to cart, if I hover over account default goal, we can see that more than one conversion has been added in here as a account default goal. Another way to check is to click edit goal. And we can see here that use add to cart as an account default goal has been added here. So that's another issue as well. And we can see here account default goal one primary action. So we've got some problems, we have to sort this out. And as I continue to scroll down, you can see begin checkout has also been added some submit leave forms have also been added. So we've got some big problems. It's a bit messy. They've also been added as primary action optimization. So that means the account's going to optimize for every single one of these actions when this is not what we want to do when it comes to the account default goal. Another way to check if you've got double counting, if we quickly come across to the campaigns, scroll down to where you see active campaigns at the moment, come across to segment. And if we check under conversions and conversion action type, make sure you got your selected date range. And as we can see, it creates a segment or breakdown of the each individual conversion action that is being currently counted. And if we scroll across to the right, we can see here under conversions, not all conversions, which is another column, it's the conversions column. We can see here we have the Google Shopping app purchase here is 19, which we saw just before under the goal summary in the account. But we can also see here the Google Shopping app ad payment info is also being counted. And also the shipping details page is also being counted. Hence the reason why we've got 41 as opposed to 19 actual purchases in the account. Now the big question is how do we fix it? Now just before I take you over to show you how to do that, if you're having problems with your conversion actions, you're getting duplications or things are looking more complicated what I'm showing you today, please reach out to me in the link in the description or in the first comment below. I'll be happy to hear from you. I'll get back to as soon as possible. Now, if we come back over to goals and click goals, you can even click summary again. Now, as we scroll down, we'll come to the purchases first. If we select edit goal, first under conversion action optimizations, you only wanna have one primary action being counted. So the account default goal setting is only optimizing for that one primary action. When it comes to purchases specifically, you wanna click either one of these drop downs and set it as a secondary action observe only. Also, if it's just the purchases that you wanna be setting as the account default goal, you wanna select it here like so. And then you click save changes. Now, I'm not gonna save any changes at the moment because this client hasn't got started with me just yet. And again, as we scroll down to add to cart, in addition to any of the other conversion actions to the account, you have to determine which conversion actions you want to be counting at the account default goal. For example, you may want to be counting your submission forms that might be important to you. But in this case, add to carts, begin checkout. We do not want to be setting them as our account default goal. How do we know if we've set our campaigns to the account default goal? Just very quickly, again, I'll come back across to campaigns. And if we come down to the campaign and click edit settings, we can see here under objectives and goals, under conversion goals, if we hit the drop down, we can see here that the client has selected account default. We can also select campaign specific. So if you've got another primary action, that you want to set to, you can do that. But we can see here that almost everything in the account has been set to default goal. Hence the reason why we have to go back and clean it up. Coming back across to the goals again and back down to the add to cart, we will select edit goal here again, then come under account default goal settings and select do not use add to cart as an account default goal. You would save that. And if you're not going to be using add to carts as a primary action to optimize for any particular campaigns, for example, you might want to be optimizing to add to cart in order to be able to retarget them later. You may want to keep that as a primary action 
but you can also change that to secondary action and observe that only and then you would save the changes then after that you just want to keep going through each individual conversion category edit the goal and make sure you've got the account default setting set correctly save changes and that's essentially how you go about fixing your duplicate conversion actions in your account again if things are looking a little complicated or if this is too much for you please reach out to me in the link in the description or in the first comment pinned below i'd love to hear from you and that's it for today's video thanks for watching bye for now